Hi, I am Dr. Pankaj from the Department of Physics, SRM University, AP. So today we will go for the tour to the physics teaching labs. We have four labs: Engineering Physics Lab, Engineering Fundamentals Lab, Optics Lab, and BSc and MSc Lab. Before going to these labs, let's talk with our one of the faculty, Dr. Sabesachi Mukhopadhyay, who is in charge of these labs. Hi, I am Dr. Sabesachi Mukhopadhyay. I am the faculty in charge of Department of Physics. In the teaching laboratory of Department of Physics, we have many physical demonstration experiments, which gives a quantitative results of engineering sciences. In Department of Physics teaching laboratory, we have many experiments, and we focus on the kinematics, dynamics, thermodynamics, acoustics, optics, and their applications. To see more physical insights about the experiments and the labs, let's go to our first lab, that is Engineering Fundamentals Lab. It was established in 2017 during the founding years of SRM University AP. So let's go in and have a look. This lab was established to enhance the practical and fundamental knowledge of students. So here we have multiple experiments. Let's go towards one of the interesting experiment. That's the Faraday law. When we fall a magnet, then the EMF is changed, and when the EMF is changed, that we can note it down or we can observe through this software where we can capture the readings and the area. With the change in area in the positive and the negative, we can calculate the magnetic flux of this magnetic coil. Similarly, we have another experiments that you can see and observe here. that we have a dielectric constant experiment as well where we can measure the dielectric constant of any material by using this equipment in the similar way also we have some experiments such as flywheel compound pendulum and so on now we will move towards our next lab that is our engineering physics lab where we will use our fundamentals and to see other experiments Could you please tell me that what is this experiment? Uh, I am doing uh, to find the specific heat of an unknown metal sample. So based on uh, the temperature variation of water and uh, the specific uh, metal sample which we have taken, we will be finding this specific heat. So we have another experiments such as ferromagnetic, diamagnetic, ferrimagnetic. We have experiments related to the Hall measurements. We have experiments related to the verification of the Biot-Savart's law, where we measure the magnetic field and to check that how the magnetic field changes with the current element and with the distance. So as you can see that with the changing in the current element, you, we can measure the magnetic field. We can observe and we can note it down and just by drawing a graph, we can verify the Biot-Savart's law. To see the beauty of the light and to understand the physical phenomena of the light, let's move towards the third lab, that is optics. lab it was established in 2022 so here we have experiments related to the hooke's law where we find the spring constant of the helical spring and we also have experiment related to the Balmer series and where we measure the spectra of the hydrogen atom and then we have a multiple experiments to explain the interference and diffraction as we can see that we have a Michelson interferometer experiments by passing a light through the mirrors one can observe that the how the dark and the bright fringe is observed and based on that we can find the wavelength of the helium neon lasers we also have experiment related to the interference diffraction with the single slit double slit and so on now we are in the bsc lab this lab is for the undergrad students where we have experiments related to the electronics we have experiments related to the frankhurst experiment we also have a experiment to find the planck's constant as we can see here and then we have experiments very fascinating and interesting experiments that's a milgram's oil drop experiment here we find the charge to the mass ratio what we do here is that we just drop a oil drop in this oil chamber and then we just find that 
how this oil drops are falling down from the top to the bottom we can measure the distance and also by changing this voltage we can also see that the dynamics of the oil droplets that's going up towards up and we can calculate the charge to the mass ratio i hope you have enjoyed the journey to physics teaching lab here we have explored multiple experiments based on the different fields of the physics such as mechanics electricity and magnetism and so on so in future we will add more equipments more experiments to enhance the practical and the fundamental knowledge of the students.